In our previous session, we looked at how to add the MySQL connector to BlueJ. In this session, we are going to look at how to create a class that allows us to interface with the database. However, before we get into that, we are going to create a database that we're going to be using for this project. All right, so if you are running ZAMP, ensure that MySQL is running. You could create a database by going to admin, or if you have MySQL Workbench installed, you may use this method. So I'm going to choose one of my connections here. And we are going to create a simple database. So we're going to create a movie database. So I'm just going to get a new tab. All right, I'll go to file, new query tab, and I'll work from here. So I'm gonna create a database called movie. All right, use movie. And I'm gonna create two tables. So I'm gonna create one called flim right. and I'll just have like a flim ID use an int made a primary key and I'm gonna create The name all right I'm just gonna make this F name for the flim name Let's go to the top. and I'm gonna make the year all right, that's int all right so we have this one. All right, so we have our table flim that we're gonna be using. So let's run this. So our database has been successfully created, switch to it. And now we're gonna create our table. All right, so there's a problem. Um, of our char, flim name can be about size 20. Ensure put on a size for the bar char. All right, good. So that's our database and our table. So we are pretty much through with this part. So I'm gonna head back over to BlueJ. All right, so first of all, we need to ensure that we have access to the database. So we're gonna just go to Project, create a new project. Call my project movie. All right. All right, so now we're going to create a class. And what this class will do, I'll call it class connect DB. Start with a capital C. Connect DB. All right. So what this class is going to do is going to allow you to allow us to interface with the MySQL program, MySQL database from Java. All right. So I'll just remove what is here. And inside of this class too, we're gonna to build out some um, methods that can be used to insert, update, to delete and so forth from the database. All right, so we start off by creating a public class, connect DB. 
Right, so inside of Connect DB, so inside of our constructor, um, before we get to the constructor, we're going to be creating some variables. So we're going to create a private connection. This will be able. This will be used to store the connection um, that we would have created. So I'm going to call it connect. All right, so private connection. I'm going to use con for the variable name. If you notice here, it's complaining because um, we are using connection to define con. And what it's pretty much saying is that it doesn't know anything about connection. So what we need to do is to import the appropriate, um, the appropriate library that would facilitate that. All right, so let me just import some libraries before we go further. So you need to import java.sql. We're going to be using this. Sorry. All right. All right. So as we go along, we'll do other imports so you can know what we are um, getting from each. So it's private again. And we're going to create a statement of SD. And create a result set. RS. So these variables will be very useful as we interface with the database and our um, Java program. So this is our constructor. If you recall, the constructor carries the same name as the class name, and it all, it's always public. So it's public connect DB. All right, this one doesn't take in any argument. So inside here, we're going to establish the connection to our database. So we're going to put this into a try and catch block because it's possible to exist that when we're doing the connection, we may have possible errors. For example, if the database um, server is not running and so forth. So we're going to say class for name. And this. And here we're going to put com dot my SQL I SQL dot JDBC dot driver. All right, so the connection is being made between a Java program and my SQL. So the connection that we, in order to do the connection, guys, you need to make sure that you remember the username and the password that you would have used when you were installing your MySQL server. All right, so, so the driver manager that get connection. And inside here, we're gonna indicate where our database is located. So it's gonna be JDBC, colon, MySQL. All right, so the database is a local database. So wherever the database is located, that's what you would put here. So mine is on the local host. That means it's on my machine. And the port that we are using to connect to the database through is 33306. The name of the database um, that we would have created, if you recall the name, of the database that we would have created is movie. All right. So we're going to put the name of the database here as movie. And then you're going to put the username for your MySQL connection here. So my username is root. And um, I don't have a password currently. So I'll put blank. If you have a password, put the password in the quotation. All right. So once that is done, we are going to create a statement and store it in ST. Remember, ST is a statement variable. All right? So ST is going to be equal to using the connection that's con that create statement. All right. And then we set up our catch. And what we are checking for is if there's any MySQL um, 
exception. Sorry, so we're gonna check if there is if the class is not found. And also we're gonna be checking if there is a SQL exception. All right. Now, if there is an error, what we will get is that we're gonna just output um, a little message indicating that there's an error using the J option, J option pin. So whatever message you want to output, you just put it here. Now, in addition to what I type, I'm also gonna just output the systems error, the message generated by the program, which is gonna be stored in EX. All right. And that's it in terms of connecting to the database. All right, as you can see here, it is telling us that J option, J option pin is not um, variable, it's undeclared. All right, so what we need to do is just make sure that we would have imported what is necessary. So just need to import. Java extension that swing that star. All right, so the J option pin is coming from the Java extension that swing. All right, so with that done, we would have established the connection, but let's see if the connection actually work. All right, so we're going to check to see if the connection work by. Simply creating an instance of the DB connection. All right, so of the DB, of the connect DB. All right, so we're gonna just create a main in which we are going to create an instance. All right, so we're gonna say public static void main. So let's create an instance of the connect DB. All right, so the instance I'm creating it CDB. It's called CDB, which is equal to new connect DB. All right, so if the connection is successful, what's gonna happen? It's um, the instance will just create, nothing will come up on the screen, but if there happens to be an error, it will shoot out the error message. So let us just check and see if it actually work. So. All right, so if nothing appears, nothing came up on my screen, which means that it worked. All right, so if there was like an error, let's say I put in an incorrect password or something incorrect, um, this is what would happen. It would run, but then you would get an error message popping up. All right, so here it is. So that's what came up. It says using password, yes. Da, da, da. All right, so pretty much what it's saying is that I'm using a password, which is not correct. And um, no password is actually needed. All right, so we have successfully established a connection to our database. All right, so we are making good progress. All right, so thank you for viewing. In our next session, we are going to look at how we would go about storing information in our database from MySQL. All right, so thank you for joining.